Have you ever wanted to play the official version of Subnautica VR only for it to look like this? Yeah, it's basically all the same game, the HUD's the same, everything is the same. You're just looking at it through the perspective of a VR headset, but we can change that. With the Submersed VR mod, we can enhance the VR experience with motion controls, improved menu interaction, and more immersive gameplay. So, in this video I will show you how to get the mod today and make your experience a whole lot better. I will add a few disclaimers before the video starts. This is a Windows tutorial, not a Mac tutorial and a Linux tutorial because I do not have those computers. Do not use mod managers to get this mod like Vortex or Q Mod Manager as they cannot properly process this mod and make it so the mod doesn't work right or not even work at all. And finally, Submersed VR only works with Steam VR, so if you bought it off the Epic Game Store, you will have to click Add a Game at the bottom left of the Steam page and select Add a non-Steam Game and add Subnautica. And with that, we can now get started with installing the mod. So first thing that you're going to do is click the little gear icon at the, at the Subnautica page, and then go to Manage, and then click Browse Local Files. That way it shows you your Subnautica's files, but do not go into the actual files of the game. Just stay on this page. So what you want to do is click the first link that I left in the description and scroll down all the way to the assets part and select the first file that shows up there, the first .zip file, but do not download the other source code files, just the first file. Then you're going to want to click the second link in the description and scroll down to all the way where it says manual installation and then click on the link that says download Toby's pack for Subnautica and then let that file download. And with both files downloaded go inside of the Toby's pack for Subnautica zip folder first and then copy and paste all the contents inside and then put them over to the Subnautica um, root directory but again not inside of any of the folders because that will cause the improper installation and cause the mod to not work. Now go ahead and take the submersed VR folder and copy and paste all the contents inside of it and also put them at the root directory of the Subnautica folder. Again not inside of any files or folders or anything just on the root directory. Now these next instructions are for people who use an Oculus or MetaQuest device for their VR experiences. So you're going to click the little gear on Subnautica and hover to properties and under launch options for this little part right here you're going to type hyphen VR mode space open v v VR exactly the way I typed it like this. This next part is also only for Oculus and MetaQuest users only. You will want to have Steam VR downloaded to your operating system. Um, that way we can uh, run the mod. And so when you connect your Oculus or Meta to the computer, you will have to boot into the Steam VR menu. Now this next part is for everybody. Click play on Subnautica and then, and then choose to launch it in VR. And if the mod is downloaded correctly, you should have motion controls and a much more immersive experience. Like look how look at the five quick salts that were usually at the bottom of the screen. Now it's like this. Like you can point the repair tool, scanner, stuff at things to actually do stuff with them. You can even have the survival knife and everything. And look at look at the PDA for a second. I won't spoil the rest for you. You can look at the rest yourself and have the awesome experience. Do be warned though, this mod is still a work in progress, so do not expect a fully polished and bug-free experience. However, the third link in the description that I left, you can post your issues with this mod so the developer might be able to help you with your issues.